Awesome. Hello, and welcome to another 12 p.m. tutorial. This tutorial will teach you how to use G-Tunnel in order to access the internet securely. G-Tunnel is a program that creates a local HTTP or SOX proxy and uses that proxy to send information from your computer to the G-Tunnel server farm and then out to the greater internet. This means that G-Tunnel is encrypting your web session and circumventing any filters that might prevent you from viewing content online in your area. Now that you know how it works, let's go get the software. Open up a web browser and go to www.gardennetworks.org. Feel free to take a look around the Garden Networks page, and when you're ready to move on, click the download link on the right. Now click the link that says, click here, and save the file to your computer. Once the file finishes downloading, close out these windows and go to where you saved your file. The program comes to you in a zip file. If your computer cannot automatically open these files, you will need a program like WinZip or 7-Zip to open it. Go ahead and extract the files. Inside the folder you will see three files. This is all you need to run the program. Go ahead and double click the G-Tunnel icon. This is the G-Tunnel user interface. You can see that it is currently in standard mode and that it says it is not ready. The creators of G-Tunnel have decided not to offer the standard mode for people outside of China, but that's okay because they've built in other ways for people to use the program. Let me show you how that's done. First, click on Settings. Here you should see Options, Standard Mode, Skype Mode, GTalk Mode, and Tor Mode. We're going to use GTalk Mode, but we have to set it up first. Click the Options button. Under the Settings tab, I'm going to check the box marked Clear Internet Explorer Cache on Exit for added security. Now click the Transport tab. Here you should see two boxes labeled Gmail and Password. If you don't have a Gmail account, go to www.gmail.com and sign up for one now. I'll wait. Now that you have a Gmail account, enter your username and password here and then click the button that says Test. When it says Test Succeeded, you're ready to go on. Click the OK button. Click this OK button too. Now click the Settings button again and select GTalk mode. In a moment, your trans state will go from not ready to ready. Now click the Internet Explorer button and then select Yes. Before we do anything, we should run a test. I'm going to open up an unencrypted web browser and go to www.checkip.org. That number is my current IP address. Now go back to the Internet Explorer browser and go to www.checkip.org. Hmm, that's not good. The number hasn't changed. If this happens to you, there's a very simple fix. First go to Tools, then Internet Options. Click the Connections tab. Click on LAN Settings. Check the Use a Proxy Server for your LAN box, and then after Address, enter 127.0.0.1, and after Port, enter 8081, and click OK, and then click OK again. Refresh the page. Great, the numbers changed, which means that we are now using an encrypted channel to access the Internet. In the lower right hand corner of your screen, there should be a small green version of the G-Tunnel icon. You can click this icon and access many of the different options that are available on the user interface. To exit the program, simply click Exit. Now you know how to use G-Tunnel.